So initially, both loans, the $3,000 for the horse and the $3,000 to repair the vehicle, initially they were both verbal. Is that right? Yeah, first we talked about it and then made the little envelope signature and then talked right. about so it again. Right, so you did have the defendant sign an IOU. Mm -hmm. It just says IOU 3K, 3,000. Mm -hmm. And that's your signature, ma'am? Yes. Well, then we should sell the horse. Since you brought it up, sir, <laughs> the horse, which we have a picture of, the horse's name is Paca? Yes. And this is Paca? Yes. And that's you, Ms. Devers, with Paca? Yes. And it's, a, it's a horse she loves, and it's still with her, and uh, it makes money. It's like a little barrel racing horse. You can do things with it. It pulls a carriage. It's a nice horse. It's friendly. Okay. And then the second loan, which the defendant acknowledges, was for the repairs to her vehicle for approximately $3,000. And then you sent an email in November that said, due to the recent change in relationship status, i.e. boyfriend-girlfriend to a friendship status, I wanted to clarify our verbal agreement regarding the personal cash loans. And you said, I agree. That was it in November. Because then we get to December. What happened? I had my truck repaired. And we wanted to try to continue a good relationship with one another whether that be friends or together. Now you had the truck that was actually repaired and you could travel to see him again. Yes. So then in December, Mr. Cutnauer, you write, I do not think it would be productive for you to have to make payments. Mm -hmm. And this is what's key to me. Mm -hmm. I also think canceling your debt puts us on equal footing again. Was there some sort of sense in the relationship that this debt was maybe hanging over your ability to be a couple? It's hard to say that, you know, at the end it just kind of went back and forth. I was, some different feelings, and, and so did uh, the defendant, Ms. Devers. <laughs> Ms. Devers, was this something that could have conceivably been interfering with your relationship? Yes. And after receiving the email that the debt was canceled, it was a weight off of my chest. It sounds like to me, Mr. Kuttner, that after putting you back on equal footing, you could choose once again to cultivate a new relationship if you want. <clears throat> so it sounds to me like for a lovely reason, Right, nothing wrong or sinister, but a very deliberate effort to cancel this debt for a specific reason, which was that it would kind of restore the two of you so that you could decide whether or not you wanted to continue your relationship. Mr. Kuttnauer, I'm trying to understand your, your defense to this cancellation, because it's important to understand I... why you might feel that you wanted some kind of response from the defendant for it, but the law might look at it differently. Do you mind if I read your email? I mean, go ahead. Uh, remind me. I haven't read it in okay, a, good. a bit. It said, hello, cowgirl. Mm. I wanted to let you know that you have been a breath of fresh air in my life. You made this recent pandemic the best I've ever experienced. I knew the day I met you that I had been looking for you for a long time. I just didn't realize this fact until that fateful meeting you have changed me in important ways. You have reminded me that we should always be honest and keep to our word. You make me laugh and remind me that being silly should be injected into our daily interactions. You are beautiful, smart, gritty, organized, thoughtful, and kind to all animals. I could go on. Instead, I'll just tell you, I think you are amazing and my little force of will. I've decided that it would be best if I cancel your debt, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right? That's magnificent. Ah, well, I love uh, it. I, weren't you moved when you read that? Yeah, I was. I, I, I guess you've moved again. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because it is. It is just simply beautiful. <laughs>